Welcome back everyone to another episode of Civil Textures. My name is Ferdi and today we're going to be looking at part 3 of the tutorial series for Flow. In part 1 we looked about the simulation settings and design settings, so where to get all the information that you need before you start modeling. In part 2 we looked on how to create our manholes, pipe, basic storage and basic flow control units. And today in part 3 we're going to be looking on how to do your simulation analysis and how to prepare your repair. Spoiler alert, is only one button. Now. That being said, that does not mean we're not going to create further tutorials for Flow. We even have Flow Plus, we even have Flow in AutoCAD. We're going to make tutorials more in depth uh, in, for the manholes, link types, storages and flow control units. So subscribe and share the channel with your colleagues so they can learn as well how to use Flow. Without further ado, let's begin. So in the previous tutorial, if you haven't watched it, you will be somewhere up there, the button so you can watch it. We've designed this basic drainage network. Now, what we're going to do now is just run our simulation analysis. So basically what's going to do is it's going to take all the simulation settings that we put it. So for the one year, 30 year, 100, 500 and all the storm durations that we put and the checkboxes so we told them to check for discharge rates these are discharge rates we told them to check for discharge volume and it's gonna run the analysis so to run the analysis you have to click the analyze button it's the furthest on the right on the on your menu bar toolbar so we just wait a few seconds now the good thing about flow is i think they did a kind of parallel coding so it does not wait for one simulation to finish so it can run the second one it can run parallel simulations together now we couldn't see that obviously because it was way too fast kudos for that and we can see now here so we've got our plus icon which will expand for each node and we can see for each timestamp if you hit the minimize we go back to the original and then we've got the play button and stop animation so if we play this play a button we can see the animation of the water going slightly up and i don't know if it's noticeable but if we change the year it will be more noticeable so as you can see here for the 100 it's moving slightly faster and then we have the return periods that we requested so we've got the one year 30 and 100 and 500 then we have the storms so you can pick which one but we select critical so we won't have to go through each and every one of them and then we've got upstream depth outflow and velocity to check now what you want to check is you want to check for any flooding in the one year so everything's surcharged so it's okay and then we look at our outfall which is at five liters per second and if we hover over it it says maximum allowable discharge rate is at 4.3 now, if we go back to our simulation settings, we see that we told them to put check for 4.3. And in the results tab, it says that it's 5. Now, this can be fixed by increasing your storage or changing your design depth. There's many ways to tweak that. We're going to look further in them in the future tutorials. Then you've got the 30 year, which you don't want any flooding for the 1 year and 30 year. But it's okay to have in the 100 year as long as it's contained and it's doesn't pose any risks to the residents of the site so for the 30 we don't have any issues and our uh, outfall is as per the parameters and then we, we have the 100 year we have slight flooding a cube 0.7 and 2.9 cubes and then for the 500 year we've got the same flooding but the outfall remains the same now the reason the outflow remains 5 liters per second is because we specified a flow control unit to always stay at 5. Now this can be tweaked by having a complex control chamber or upping the design flow but changing the design depth. We will cover it in future tutorials. Now we've got all our results. Now let's say we want to view the 100 year storm. So one nice way to do it is to click your 3d button and then you will see where your flooding is and if we click the play button you can see actually the manhole filling up slowly very very slowly there we go and shows the flooding and we can see the storage is not fully fully utilized so 
one way is we can upsize the pipes and everything which we will show you how to do it in future tutorials as well so don't forget to subscribe so you can get notified so now to the juicy part how do we create our report simple we just click design report and a new window will appear and we have our checkboxes on the left so basically we tell what we want we want the design settings we want the nodes actually i would suggest to have your pipeline schedule manhole schedule simulation settings flow control storage structures that are used any others if you used and the critical results and the design settings now if we click on the update button you can see that we have our design settings so we've got our return periods as the system has been designed to the m560 and our ratio sv time of entries and the minimum minimum velo cleansing velocity that we specified and then we see our pipeline schedule our manhole schedule and then we have our simulation settings so basically it tells us that we're gonna run the simulation for these for these storm for these storm durations and the pre-development discharge rate was calculated based on greenfield and the discharge volume and then we have our flow control schedule basically and our storage schedule so basically it tells us your tank has safety factor of two porosity one so basically all the information that the planning authority wants to see when you submit your a proposed drainage strategy and then you've got your results for the one year third year and hundred year now to pdf it is simply just clicking the save button and we just pdf it simulation results and it will prompt a window if we want to open it or not let's open it so we can view it as you can see everything is in there now let's say you want to change your headings you can add headings here and just update them so for example heading one let's say project x and if we refresh it you can see at the top right it says project x here and now the data what's the data the data basically it exports in an excel spreadsheet all the information that you need so maybe if you want to copy your manhole schedule and put them in the autocad so you can have it there instead of manually typing it up you can just untick all the boxes leave the manhole schedule and hit save we're going to cover that example in a future tutorial now maybe you want to show them what's the design network so you can go to plot and if we tick the plan and we update it you can see our plan is there now this reflects this window here so if i close it and zoom in there and so you can see and then we hit plot again as you can see it zoomed in and then let's say you want your long sections you take your long sections and you have you've got your horizontal scale your vertical scale you can plot from specific links and you can show connections as well so to pdf it as well you click the save button and you pdf it you can change the size of the paper so if we do a3 you can even fit height or width and or portrait mode the possibilities are endless you even can change the text style that's new i didn't know that probably was there just didn't notice it ah huh, that's cool and there you have it that's how you do your simulation report so i hope you find this video useful and now you have the tools to start doing basic drainage models and produce simulations and reports now obviously i will cover theory in future tutorials as well and as well as like specific link types tutorials storages and flow control units so i hope you enjoyed this video and i would like to thank Cosway for allowing us to use their license to bring this video to you stay safe and see you next time